Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 347. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'm fine solo again, and there's a good reason for this. And the reason is, I... Uh, <laughs> um, how would I put this? I've been hanging out a lot with some friends locally, so my recording is a bit off and whatnot. But hey, I will still produce a show for you guys, and that is a promise. So let's hit into the news. In the first news, uh, remember that news where there was a shipment spill in the ocean with the ponies and whatnot, and it seems that the Dutch pony spill is now being used for science. So I'm going to read uh, the news verbatim and articles written by Sophisto and it says, last week we posted about the container ship dumping ponies into the ocean. Apparently, these guys are so recognizable that the scientific community is now using them to study how plastic trash in the ocean travels. It's still not completely known how quick it takes stuff like this to sink and having bright colored equines makes studying stuff like this much easier. So yes, it seems that the scientific community is using ponies as experiments. <laughs> that's one way to put it. So yes, for one bad thing and making it a good thing, that's very good. Um, I think the phrase is uh, turning lemons into lemonades. So yeah, not all is lost, I guess. So I hope that the scientific community does understand how plastic in the ocean travels and whatnot and if they sink into the bottom or not and stuff like I, I do hope that they try to clean it at the same time too because ocean life is well precious so anywho let's head on into the next news and the next news is kind of awesome so before i go into the news i need to tell a story <laughs> uh, way back when in the olden days before colored screens and before YouTube on your mobile or whatever it is you recall, I had a phone. It was the Nokia 3310. It was a legendary phone. It was awesome. It was, let's just say that it was a really, really good phone. And I really enjoyed it, especially with the whole snake game and um, editing your own uh, ringtones and whatnot. Oh man, those those were fun. Like, especially if you try to make your own ringtones and going online with your 60k modem to find places to build your own ringtones. Yeah, those were the days, man. Those were the days. Like nowadays, we all have our own phones. Like we all have our uh, Androids or iOSs and whatnot. And they were good. They're awesome. They have full screen. They have touch screen and whatever. And you can play on mobiles. And you know, nowadays... Phones are just, well, black stuff with stuff. So apparently, a store in China is selling a phone that is pony-themed. And let's just say that it's not really, um, how do I put this, <laughs> the best phone out there. It's a budget phone and it's a mostly for kids. So the price here starts at 599 yuans that's china currency china uses yuan and it goes from 599 to 899 depending on stuff i don't know what they add here because the site's in chinese and whatnot but from what i can tell there's only two models of the phone and that's a twilight sparkle skin or a fluttershy skin and both phones are really aimed for kids and what they give you are a what you would call this rubber grip casing something like that with a phone strap uh, some stickers to stick on your phone uh, a charger for charging headphone jack and so on uh, notable things about this phone are that it somehow can be tracked by parents. It has GPS, a GPS and Wi-Fi, um, and also have some SOS thing. Basically, if you're a parent, you can track where your kids are with this phone. 
it has the essentials like full text, phone, uh, messaging and whatnot. And it has a camera. The camera is okay. They, they don't really state how big it is or what the quality is. Let's just say that you're not going to get the best quality out there. Uh, oh, I do see that they have a demo unit of Rainbow Dash, so that's cool. Um, it's about 9.8 millimeters thick, so that's something to consider. And uh, it has a headphone jack, which not all phones have nowadays, so that's cool. One of the few things that are notable is that it has a 1100 mAh battery life. So don't expect this to be the best in terms of lifespan. But hey, um, it's for your kids, so yay, it's for funsies, for funsies. And other than that, uh, there's nothing really notable, there's nothing really for me to point out other than it's a phone team pony thing like it's a pony team phone what else can you ask for right and it's only available in china at a store called tmall.com or delta.tmall.com i don't know but still it is very interesting and if you have the cash to import it to try it out do so i guess i would recommend it i mean uh probably there's a few things that you can do with it uh, who knows and it's very limited like in all honesty it has a notch god dang it every phone now has a notch why oh boys so yeah uh, that's the news for this week and let's hit into well my favorite topic of the week and that is what i have i been doing with my week so like i mentioned before uh, my week has been rather okay uh, nothing special has been happening lately all I can say that this week I played a new game and it's not what you think like um, it's not something from the PC or the PlayStation 4 I w- literally went to an arcade and played a VR game and said VR game is called uh, Beat Saber so what Beat Saber is it's a um, rhythm game where you the player holds two lightsabers and you have to cut down rhythm blocks and it's a really fun game like there's demos of it online if you want to check it out and probably i'll post something up on the patreon for people to check me out dancing like an idiot or just standing there and stuff uh boys but no um the game is fun but in all honesty, I could have probably done better if I started out easy and tried to understand the game. It's a rhythm game, and rhythm games are not why forte. And yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Like I've heard people in the northern part of Malaysia, like in the middle, in the Kuala Lumpur section of the world or Malaysia say that there's certain places that um, do this kind of service where you can play for X amount of hours with friends and stuff. And for me personally, I had to play it in an arcade where I was allocated about probably seven minutes. And my price I have to pay was 10 bucks local currency. And yeah, it was, in all honesty, it was a bit steep. But the experience of playing the game was fun. So probably I'll post the video of me playing the game on the Patreons. And you you guys and the Patreons get to check it out first and see how I do. And you guys get to comment on how silly I am dancing and whatnot. But hey, um, it will be up on the YouTube soon enough, I hope. Um, other than that, uh, wanted to watch a movie but couldn't. Let's just say that I wanted to watch a movie today, but the traffic for going into the mall was terrible. I was in a lot of stress just going in there. And yeah, let's just say that it's my fault. Why would I go into a mall on a Sunday? So yeah, you idiot. You 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 brought this upon yourself. <laughs> so yeah, uh, kind of my fault. But hey, um, 
that's been my week. Yes. Oh boy. So anywho, uh, let's head into well near the end. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the gmail dot com, and you can also reach us on the twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show, and you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Torterra, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and also movies. Sometimes we like to do other things other than the movies. Other than the ponies. And yeah, we, we, we are open to suggestions. Like uh, we did Kung Pao into the fist. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. We also did Batman the Killing Joke. And we also did Miracle City Buck. So yay, a lot of funsies there. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starspring, Lurker Cat, Jeffrey, and myself. Like, thank you so much, guys. You're great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!